This year has been a pretty difficult year. The price of production has risen dramatically. I think we've seen price increases across the board from anything from about 10% up to 30-35%. Hi, I'm Mombi Gitao and today we are at the John Howe Turkey Farm in Kent. We are here to find out in the run-up to Christmas if turkey, the most important centerpiece meal on the dinner table, will be more expensive. Everything from labor to feed costs have gone up, so this is likely to push up the price of turkey up even higher compared to last year. We have put our prices up by about 8%, but that definitely hasn't covered everything and we have had to absorb as much of it as we possibly could. And the butchers will also have to take a hit on, on what they're putting the birds out at as well. With the, we use a wax plucking system now. The price of wax has jumped up 35%. The cardboard that we use to, for the boxes that the birds go out in, that again has gone up 35%. Gas prices have gone up, I think, about 20%. It's uh, fuel, as everyone knows, has gone up a lot. So getting the birds from the farm to the butcher shops is going to be really expensive this year. The food prices have also jumped up a lot this year, 18% which has had a very big impact because it, it's not something we can economise on. No matter the cost, we've got to feed the birds and we've got to feed the birds the right rations. There isn't a product that we use on this farm that hasn't gone up. Particularly in the UK, staff shortages have hit the meat industry the hardest. This has forced the government to intervene by issuing temporary visas to foreign workers. However, this has not been enough to plug the hole, forcing farms like this to introduce creative and innovative ways to deal with the shortage.